that's the dude that's been doing my hair. Oh, they do. But did your hair last time? That's too. All right. Well, try both. I've had the other do my hair. The one in the back. Yeah. Try. Fluff that. <laughs> So D just got back from dropping off the kids at school and DJ and I are out to go handle some errands. <laughs> Why he call his new iPhone Dizzle for shizzle? <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh. I usually get on them for not naming their phones. So then when all the boys are over and we're transferring stuff or something, there's just a bunch of iPhones. Nobody names their phones. So I, I just, I, it's funny that he chose Dizzle for Shizzle. It's usually King Dingaling or something like that. So like, it took me a second to realize that that was the name of his phone. It's crazy. So I'm at Vital Records, but I had to get DJ a birth certificate. And it smells like a dirty diaper in here. And the lady's mad at me that I don't have change. It costs $10, I have a 20. And she's like pissed off. She already told me she has a you know, she didn't sleep well, so she's trying to get her mood up. I don't care, you're at work. Get it together. So, yeah, she's like, it's going to take a few minutes, but I can go into the bank. It's $10. What are you talking about? Like, I, I don't know. She's grumpy. I feel bad for her. It's in that trash can. And it's, like, right by the door. If you have a child and you have to change your baby's diaper in public, that's fine. You got to do what you got to do. But you need to hold on to that diaper until you can get it outside. It is disgusting to put a dirty diaper in an open trash can in a non-ventilated room. Nobody wants to smell your baby's poopy diaper all day. A hot mess. And I got to wait the 10-15 minutes for it to be ready and sit here and smell this poopy diaper. I'm annoyed. Okay. They got that done quicker than I expected. Hi, princess. Okay. Back to brave the cold. Next stop, social security. Ready, DJ? Oh, it's chilly. Okay. It's fun to be back up. All right, we are off to the auto. Ooh, Trent, look at that. What? Well, we go ahead and come to a stop. Look at that, it looks good. I'm looking shiny. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. Maybe we just need lighting. Yeah. That's what it is. We ain't good at lighting ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are off to the office. Hop back on the grind. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Trent, man. Trent's been on fire these last few days. He's been into the, real heavy into the personal development. Been on his uh, sermon swag. What, what else? Sermons, Bible. That's nice. Oh, meditating? What? Yeah. How do you like it? That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Was it weird at first? Uh, yeah. It still is a little bit. Yeah. Stick with that, man. Uh, yeah. I am big on the meditation. If y'all... I'm making a haircut today, man. Y'all can see the people I can like. People like, Mad Butter had all types of waves. <laughs> he sleep with his do-rag on, blah, blah, blah. I think I told y'all. Did I say it on stream? Yeah. How to do fluff? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I said it on stream. I'm shiny than a mother fluffer right now. But um, I wanted, I ain't wanted like, I was trying to go into a new season, man. Cause if y'all noticed for a while, I wasn't wearing the do-rag. I was either rocking the, the, nap, the naps or the hat. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna jump back on the wave train. For, for whatever reason, are waves still like trendy? I think so. Cause they seem like they were hot for a little bit. I don't see people talking about them no more. But um, I was like, okay, cool. Let me get my waves back. Trent wanted some. Yeah. And so I got mine popping. And that's why I had the do-rag on heavy. And then, you know, just kind of my thing. I kept it on. And because, like, if I'm not out somewhere, I keep my do-rag on. And when I record, like, I, I don't consider that being out. Like, I don't get dressed to record. And then people just made it a thing. Like, oh, why you always got your do-rag on? Mm -hmm. And so going into to Thanksgiving, I'm trying to hide this sun so y'all can see me. I was like, I'm gonna get my hair cut. You know, I'm gonna be clean for Thanksgiving. I ain't gonna say his name, but <laughs> Barbara took me a little too far to the side, man. I just, I couldn't do that. The waves were fine, but you know, I knew we were gonna start back vlogging. I was like, nah. You were end up like juice. Yeah, yeah, I had flame juice on Instagram. So I was like, nah, we not gonna take that L. 
and so I've been waiting for it to grow back ever since and it's it's just it's good enough it's good enough so hopefully today or tomorrow I get a cut because we're doing a lot of sales videos stuff for later in the week we're working on some heat man I'm really excited about it so for that I want to have the do-rag off so hopefully I got an update with y'all later with a clean cut Still got the do rag on. He fluffed me up. I'm gonna go somewhere else, man. Me and Trent been having some real struggles at our current barber, and so I think I'm gonna venture out. Don't do it. You gotta find a new promised land, man. Just, just try a different barber in a minute, dude. I don't know who I would want. The close guy on the left, the young guy. That's the dude that's been doing my hair. Oh, the dude. What the did your hair last time? There's two. All right. Both. I've had the other do my hair. The one in the back? Yeah. Fluff that! <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> no disrespect to any of them. Because you know what's so weird? Is I've seen them cut other dudes' hair and it's so fire. <laughs> I think my head's just lopsided or something. Like, mm -hmm. like, so they're all Mexican cats. And, which isn't bad. I had a barber in AZ. Probably the best haircuts I've ever had. And, you know, I don't know. They just don't flow with our, like, our hair. Yeah. I don't. It's almost like you know how in mutt, like they, they get. I think they have like a Mexican or Hispanic chemistry boost, and it yeah. like it, it, it like their edges be so sharp and so clean, and the fades are perfect. And I think with us, they they just the fades and the tapers don't be the same. What was fluffed up is you guys remember the vlogs from the earlier daily doses i was going to my dude terrence on the other side of town and i don't know if he just had a bad month or what i just had too many crooked ones in a row but besides that it was always clean so i don't know i'm just going through like barber insecurities right now and i don't know who to trust i think you gotta try it one more time yeah go one more time yeah they're not gonna make it so if they they're not gonna fluff you up bad enough that you can't be on camera and if they do, then you know you never go in there again. <laughs> that's what that's what I honestly thought this last time. And like going into it, I gave him a lot of instructions. He actually had to go back and fix the taper a couple times, and it just wasn't getting right. And here's the th here's the thing with haircuts. I had Jazz say one time after I got a bad haircut, she's like, "How did you let him do that? Like, you should have made him fix it. Like, what do you mean? You can't put hair back on you. Like." And the only time I've seen someone do that was with Juice and his melted away, his hairline melted. Dude was doing like a little spray stuff. Like if a ninja fluffs my hair up, what am I like, no, nah, I put it back and start over. Like it's gone. And then if it's an edge up and they're trying to fix it, they're just pushing you back more and more into this. Ninjas, y'all know what I'm talking about. And so it's, you, you gotta get it right. It's just really hard. And so even instructing him on the taper, it just was getting better than worse. And I was just like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna just throw the rag back on. It's all good. Why don't you put some fear in it on top of that? You've been getting some sloppy cuts lately. You know what I did? I was like, yo, last time we were a little far over here. And then my, my little swoosh was like way, it's just, I don't know, man. Here's the fluffed up part though. First time this dude cut my hair, it was so clean. And so that that's giving me hope that one day it'll go back to that and it just hasn't. So I'm just, y'all get to, a journey into the mind of a black man getting his hair cut. Yeah. And that's why when we find our barbers, like, we do not switch. But, we'll see. That's, so that's the journey today. We're about to record and then that. Bruh. Yo, so this is an early Christmas present from my girl's parents, man. The Eagle Moccasins, though. Yo, these are so clutch. Because I wear moccasins all the time. Y'all know that. And then it got the Eagles logo on it. Dude, dude. I had some pajama pants and some Eagle pajama pants they got me. I got a Brooklyn t-shirt, uh, has KD's name on the back. And then my girl also got me this Brooklyn beanie. So yeah, I appreciate them for the early Christmas present. My girl, she leaves me on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday early man she dips she's going to see her grandparents in a different state so i won't even see her for christmas i think she gets here for new year's though so that's good um we actually haven't fun fact we actually haven't spent a thanksgiving or a christmas together since me and her have been dating so that's two years two years 
you know? So yeah, it kind of sucks, but we'll get over it. We'll get over it. I'm gonna grind this week, try and, you know, free up as much time as I can for her. And yeah, go from there. But I appreciate the gifts from her and her parents. Love them. These moccasins go hard though, man. Look at them. Look at them on my feet. Look at them on my feet. Look at that. These moccasins go hard, fam. So, about to just get the day started. Had a fun night last night. Sunday, fun day. I'ma just get to work. Love y'all. I'll see you later on in the episode, hopefully. So I always get caught up in no vlog, but I don't think that'll be the case this time. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, you what's up? It's like 3 p.m. Just check it in. Me and DJ. <laughs> How you doing, G? But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think me and DJ about to record some GTA here in a minute. I think it's like, it's like 3 p.m. right now. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Just a quick check. It's my first time checking in today, but the Clip King is back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to catch you guys soon. <laughs> hey, Dose, what is good? Just check it in. It is 7.10 p.m. right now. And just catch up on some reading and stuff. Uh, no streaming tonight. I should be done a little bit early. Hold on, let me slide right on it. Yo, I still look a little bit pixelated. I don't know what, 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 what? Listen, but yeah, no, no streaming tonight. I'll probably go to sleep around like 10 or 11. I just want to at least finish the night productive. And then we'll start back tomorrow with streams and everything. That's how my day's been. We did a little bit of office recording. We were supposed to do some more tonight, but I haven't heard from Dion. So I just continue to do my own thing. But yeah, as soon as I'm done, I'll be asleep. I'll go to sleep. In case we do, I'll be at the office early tomorrow. I'll be prepared for that. And yeah, that's it. That's what I've been doing. Literally, like literally. Let me see if I can show you the notes real quick. It'll be it'll be some quick in and out notes so you guys can't fully see. We can see we grinding. All right, ready? Ready, set. Oh, you can see a little bit right there. Ready? Ooh, ah, there are some notes there. There are some notes there. But yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say, really. So I'm peace out. I'm going to catch you guys sometime soon. Whoever has the next clip. Peace. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, I think I don't think I've done this yet. Peace by Dre. Peace. All right, y'all. Your boy's gonna get ready to lay it down, but thought I'd update y'all, man. Got back from the barber. Thank God, man. I was nervous. I was nervous, but I feel like he took care of your boy. And that's like a wave. But I don't know if it's like an update. Like they're gonna look better than this. Give me like two days, you know. I had the bad cut for so long. I ain't been throwing nothing in it. I've been more so, instead of wearing the do-rag to like lay the waves down, I just been covering my head. So uh, when we get back on it, like they, they snap back pretty quick. But I thought I'd update y'all because I talked about it pretty extensively in the morning. So let's do question of the day because everyone watching should have hair or you had hair at some point. So let us know, have you had any bad barber stories, man? Has anyone fluffed you up? How'd you go about it? Because... A bad haircut can ruin your whole swag, man. Like, it, like everything can be off. So let us know if you've experienced anything like that. I love you guys. Uh, this probably isn't going to be outro, but I'll holla at y'all. Manana. Daily Dose, what is good? Just recording a couple of talking points for a couple of videos we're about to... Ooh. For a couple of videos we have coming up. It is 9.54 p.m. So I feel like I'm honestly... I didn't get as much done as I wanted to today. So that's sad. But I'm probably going to go to sleep now. Well, take a shower and then go to sleep. So, probably go to sleep at 10.30. I, just, I think I was going to wake up super early. So, let's sleep. I'm going to sleep at 10.30. And I've been doing one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I can wake up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Ah, snap. So, we might be cooking with a little bit of baby oil. We might be cooking with a little bit of grease. Cook it up. Cook it up. Hey, hey. My fault. But, yeah. I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I didn't go to the gym today. Fell off, yo. I had the opportunity to, I had the opportunity to go to the Falafel Gym, yo. I didn't even think about the gym. I think it was a couple of clips ago. I was just talking about how, yo, I was motivated after that clip too. After I recorded that clip, I was actually motivated. <laughs> I didn't even think, oh man, the gym didn't cross my mind once. And <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna get to the gym, man. I don't know. I don't know. Look, 
Look, let's just say it like this. I'll be the gym tomorrow. I'll hit the gym tomorrow. Maybe. But yeah, just check in with you guys. Let you guys know how the day's been. The day's been pretty lit, you know. I think there's lint right here, but I can't see if I go like this. So I don't I don't flip it now. But yeah, the day's been the day's been pretty good, honestly. But I'm sad I didn't get much done. I'm sad I didn't get well, I feel like I got a good amount, but not as much as I wanted to. So hopefully we hope that tomorrow is a better day. Okay, yeah. That's that. But um That's, I think that's all I got for you guys right now. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna peace out. Um, catch you guys later. All right, take care. Hold up, hold up. This this is the outro. Hold up. I know I always start my clips in a weird spot. I just gotta find those those pants, dog. Cause I wanna show y'all. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Got them, coach. But uh. Yeah, I also got these pants too from them. As a Christmas gift, if I could find the logo, here's the front, okay. So the logo would be, there we go. Got some Eagles pajama pants as well. I had these on yesterday. Don't, yeah, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. But just pulling back up from the crib. About to do my nightly grind on videos, man. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I, I've been sucking though. I've been like really sucking. I haven't been able to like stay awake. Like I start editing and I just get tired. I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but I used to be able to just stay awake and edit till my eyes fell out my head. I'm slowly starting to not be able to do that. Um, I was thinking about going to get some refreshers before I pulled up, but it's like 11 p.m. and Starbucks ain't open. So yeah, went to the house, took a shower, came back here. Just trying to like refresh myself, you know? But yeah, let me get out this nasty garage. It ain't even nasty, there's a lot of dirt everywhere and leaves and somebody needs to blow a leaf blower in here. And by somebody, I mean me. But yeah, appreciate y'all, love you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Daily Dose. And until next time, God first, God bless. Let me know how y'all think Trent's outros have been going. He ain't really done like an official one. But at least the ones that's clips. I feel like he's just mimicking me. Like every time I see it, I see myself. But uh, we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that. Hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful. What's tomorrow? What's the day? Hey, Monday, Tuesday. I hope y'all have a great Monday. If you're seeing this, you should be seeing this on Monday. But if you're not, I hope you're having a great day, whatever day you're watching this. I love you guys, and until next time. God first, God bless. Fail. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. Take two. Take two. God first, God bless. God. I gotta get the aim right. You know what I'm saying? It's like God first, God bless. God first, God bless. You know.